Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson, and today I want to explore the shocking revelation that Scrooge McDuck has a daughter. Get away from my dad. <gasps> Wait, what? Yep, in the finale of DuckTales, as the McDuck family descended upon the fiendish organization for world larceny, we learned that the girl we believe to be the housekeeper's granddaughter, Webby Vanderquack, was actually a descendant of Scrooge himself. But how did this even happen? For the longest time, Webby was told by her granny, Bentina Beakley, that her parents had died after she was born. She thought Mrs. Beakley's daughter and son-in-law were the people that never got the chance to raise her, but that wasn't true. Webby wasn't even laid in an egg like a typical duck. What we were told was that the leader of Fowl, Bradford Buzzard, commissioned a clone of Scrooge to be manufactured by his subordinate, Black Heron. Thus, Webby wasn't a child born in a traditional way, meaning that the identity of a mother figure will likely never be revealed. Scrooge didn't have a child with his on-again, off-again romantic partner, Goldio Gilt, or anyone else, but actually, in the comics, there's been some allusion to that idea with a character called Dickie Duck, who was canonically the granddaughter of Goldie and called Scrooge her granddad. But here, there's no clear mother or genetic contributor in the same way as Scrooge was. Who is Webby made from? Why, your old Uncle Scrooge McDuck, of course. <gasps> <gasps> Obviously, Webby isn't an identical clone to Scrooge since she was born a female duck while Scrooge was born a male duck, but it seems that the template for her DNA was based primarily off of the richest duck in the world. Webby was Scrooge's daughter, but then how does Webby relate to everyone since that new connection has been realized? You know, I've gotten a lot of questions from fun people asking whether or not Huey, Dewey, and Louie would call her their aunt or their cousin. It's not necessarily an easy connection to to be able to rattle off in this family tree, but I promise her place in the duck family tree will make sense. Right away, I'll say for Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Webby is now their first cousin once removed. But let's discuss what that actually means. Now, Webby being a first cousin indicates that she is a direct descendant from one of the triplets' uncles or aunts, which makes sense because Webby is the daughter of their great uncle Scrooge. If Webby were to have little ducks someday, they would then be second cousins of Huey, Dewey, and Louie because they would be the second generation that came after their great uncle Scrooge. The once removed part of Webby's relationship to the triplets, though, indicates that there is one generation that separates their connection, since Scrooge is a great uncle to them. He's not a sibling to the triplets' mother, Della Duck. He's the brother of the triplets' grandmother, Hortense. The generation that has Donald and Della within it separates Huey, Dewey, and Louie from Webby. To add some clarity, Donald and Della, on the other hand, are just first cousins with Webby because she is a direct descendant of Scrooge, who is their uncle, and Donald, Della, and Webby have no generational separation between any of them. But honestly, everything gets even weirder when Webby's sisters are introduced. You see, the reason Fowl built a child out of Scrooge McDuck was actually done with the sole purpose of attempting to obtain a mystical treasure. Decades before Fowl's undoing, Scrooge had hidden away an object capable of altering reality known as the Papyrus of Binding. Only his heirs were able to reach it because of his actions. So Bradford decided the easiest way for him to get the Papyrus was to grow and control an heir of Scrooge, only he lost the child before he was able to begin to raise the girl. You see, Agent 22 discovered the baby, took her so she would be free of being an instrument of evil, and decided to hide and raise the child under the protection of her most trusted ally, Scrooge McDuck. From that moment on, Agent 22, better known as Benton Beakley, raised the young Webby as her granddaughter without even knowing the girl's true origins. And it was actually only when the McDuck family discovered that there were other girls who were genetically identical to Webby, May and June, that the young Webbigail even questioned where she came from. As she sought out the truth, unfortunately, her journey led her to learning the depressing reality after she set free the Papyrus of Binding that she was 
only built to be a tool for Fowl that was meant to help bring about the demise of Scrooge McDuck. Now, here's where everything gets really messy. Webigail was the original clone of Scrooge McDuck, which we are told makes her his daughter, but once Webby was taken outside of Fowl's reach by Mrs. Beakley, Fowl used Webby's DNA to create the other two clones who Webby eventually met and discovered were raised within the ranks of that evil organization. Oh my gosh, Webby! You know me? We are you! Or at least we were created from you. So does that mean these clones are descendants or children of Webby? Or would these girls be daughters of Scrooge as well? Personally, I lean towards the idea that they are children of Scrooge since all three girls come from his DNA, but it's definitely left up to interpretation. Regardless, looking back, I just think it's kind of weird to see Scrooge and Webby embracing his father and daughter without really acknowledging the May and June situation at all. But it kind of seems like they are going to be brought under the wing of Donald and Daisy, which is good at least. Okay, but now that this revelation has finally happened, what is going to happen to Webby's future? Well, even though Webby was designed to be an enemy of Scrooge who was genetically related to the McDucks, the truth was that she had already found a place in that family. Sure, she now had a defined connection to Scrooge, but the reason Webby was able to find the Papyrus of Binding and the girls who were genetically identical to her were unable to all had to do with her relationship with Scrooge. Long before she was revealed to be Scrooge's daughter, she had been welcomed on adventures, shown a great deal of respect, was already deeply invested in the mysteries they explored, and she had been embraced by everyone who lived in the McDuck mansion. While I think it's possible that the result of Scrooge knowing Webby is a direct descendant of him may have some impact on the way he treats her, to me, I feel like the majority of the 2017 DuckTales series showcased Scrooge opening his heart to everyone he was close to and welcoming those people into his family. His prioritizations were being refocused as he healed from the devastating trauma of losing his niece a decade in the past. I mean, he even got to the point in the last episode where he was freaking out and trying to protect the kids in a similar way to how Donald initially started out. Scrooge developed into a protective father figure when he started to realize that family was more important than everything else. But he didn't just love, protect, or watch over any single duck. He would do anything to keep anyone safe. So I don't really see him as someone who would prioritize Webby over everyone, even though I think his relationship with her may evolve because he sees that he has more of a responsibility to look after her and guide her in a similar way to how Della strives to do that for her boys. At the same time though, I don't think Webby necessarily needs special treatment of any kind over everyone else. And I think it would just be beneficial to have a deeper relationship with Scrooge. The way I see it is that Webby has been getting all of the love she has ever wanted from Scrooge, Mrs. B, the triplets, Della, and her friends over time. Honestly, the friendships alone that she has grown with Lena and Violet have provided her so much stability, power, and confidence. At this point, I don't necessarily believe Webby's day-to-day -day is going to change because the McDuck family had already embraced her as one of their own. Webby didn't need to be Scrooge's daughter to be considered a McDuck. Fun people, make sure to subscribe and to let me know what topics you'd like me to discuss next. And finally, as always, thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and have a magical day.